Oh boy. I need a haircut and uh, I'm too drunk to go do it right now and it's almost 11 o'clock at night. 11.29 at night. It's almost 11.30 at night. One minute away. Anyway, um, I wanted to do my Friday vlogs sober, but I didn't get around to it because my family went and made a big ass fucking dinner. Uh, steak and potatoes and mac and cheese and diced uh, green. Oh god, what are those fuckers? Um, peas. Uh, the long ones. A boil. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. Brain no worky right now. Mm, so, yeah. <laughs> So I had a lazy fucking week. I have just been just been grinding away in my solo game and arc, just build my own little base and stuff. And just just relaxing and just just flaking for the whole week. Not doing anything fucking serious. So it really isn't much to discuss. Um somebody on uh my unboxing video for my uh uh my um, BSI unboxing asked me how thick the sp spine is, and I have no way of really measuring it. But I do know that my the width of my pinky is a centimeter, and if I put it up here, it's about yeah about half a centimeter at the base, but it tapers off all the way. So it, it starts at the base as a, as a half a centimeter, and then tapers down to Oh god, I don't know, but it's still fucking thick. Alright, so... <laughs> I hope that answers your damn question. So... Yeah, I actually just sat there. I don't know, I don't know if it's weird or not to watch your own YouTube videos every once in a while when you're kind of bored. But I do that. So, I, I watched my unboxing video on this thing. And I just remember how all my reactions and everything. That stuff. And Yeah, and I still don't know what to do about that weird flaw in the handle. I have no idea. It... It is inset in the horn, and it looks like it's been burned or something. But I can't tell. It's not on the grip ring. That's weird. It's not on the grip ring at all. But it's on the flats of the the handle. But not on the grip ring. So I don't know. That's weird. I, I, I think it's like some, some sort of a structural flaw or anomaly or something. I don't know. I really don't know. I just don't know. It, it, it's so confounding, but the rest of the knife's just fine. You know? So, yeah. I just can't stop playing with this thing. <laughs> Every once in a while, I gotta, gotta hold it and just mess with it. I don't know. I'm weird. Oh, and I accidentally pulled the butt cap off and uh, had to use Gorilla Glue to put it back on, and uh, I should have read the instructions on it because... Apparently, Gorilla Glue expands when you when it dries, and as I was drying it, I had it propped like up like this, and it kept seeping out over the brass. I had to really scrub on it to keep it clean. Excuse me, green beans—that's what they were called, green beans. Oh man, those were wonderful. I love green beans. God damn. So yeah, so. It may not look all that thick, but for size and everything, it's it's thick as fuck. So I'm, I'm really I'm really impressed by it. So there's that. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, I've been doodling more often. I, I try to do a doodle a week. I, my the uh, official doodle of the week this month was the cave. Did I say doodle of the month or week? I, I'm so drunk right now. I'm sorry. But I really wanted to do this vlog. I want to keep up with routine. So you don't have to bear with me. Uh, yeah, here it is. Doodle of the week. Or sketch of the week. I can't see the monitor. What the hell? Okay, there it is. So, yeah. So, crude cave, I don't know, I just had a picture of a cave in my mind when I started doodling and then it turned into that. And <laughs> I made it funny with the sign of uh, free cookies. And uh, somebody, Mark, somebody on Facebook asked me, what kind of cookies 
I'll go in there if it's the right kind of cookies, and I wrote in all cats rage, TERROR COOKIES! <laughs> yeah, it was some fun. Oh, man. I love that. <laughs> uh, but, man, that, um, I haven't really kind of meant to get more serious and in-depth with it, but I just, I just couldn't do it. I just didn't have the focus for it. So, yeah. Oh, uh, what else? What else? Oh, fuck. I found my silver. My dad, I had, I gave my dad my, uh, my silver, uh, coins, uh, trade units of 100%, or, what was it? 0 0.999 fine silver. Uh, yeah. And, uh, let's see. I forget, I think I paid about $17, $17 total, not total, each, each for these, and, um, and uh, I gave them to my father to hide because my brother likes to come in my room and find shit that he thinks I forgot about and goes and pawns it for pot money. So <clears throat> I had to hide them in his room, and he forgot where he even hid them, even though he sh showed me where he hid them. So I went right over and got them and took them back because he freaking moved shit, shit around. And uh, so I decided, screw it, you know, better to have them and get them stolen than to have them lost and unknown. You know, so yeah, so I got one. I don't know what this one is. Doesn't doesn't have a company on it, but it's a neat coin. It looks really official. It's really nice. So, so. and then I got this one from a mint, Republic Metals and Corporation. One troy ounce fine silver. So. Yeah, there we go. It's very nice. It's got a nice backing to it. And these are neat. These are like neat. I like them. Uh, for those, oh, you guys don't know. Um, I asked me it out on like treasure coins, replica treasure coins, a while back, and I actually have a chest of replica treasure coins. And here is one of, just one of 350 coins I have. So, I'm going to get up close on that. And these are the most accurate coins I could find on the internet. Most accurate. There are actual cast replicas of actual treasure coins. So, they look the most real. <laughs> but they do have copy on them. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, right there on the back on the bottom there. It says copy right on the bottom. I don't know if you can bounce the light enough on it. It's right above my thumb. Yeah, oh, never mind. Anyway, so I got a little chest full of these fuckers, and I'm thinking about re going back and collecting more, because, I don't know, I just like dumb shit like that. <laughs> so maybe I'll remember to uh, do a video, a uh, quick video on it. Um, yeah, I asked it out on these on treasure coins, uh, you know, doubloons and stuff, way back in the day, and uh, I don't think I have that anymore. Uh, I think I tossed it. Uh, yeah, but man, yeah, uh, there's a lot of shit coins on the market. There, I got, you know, I got really frustrated. There's a lot of shit, ugly coins on the market. They're mostly for kids and stuff, but nothing for adults that look really real. And when I came across the Atosha uh, Treasure website, you know, they, they actually cast replicas of these coins. And they got them in uh, uh, the uh, eight Eskidos and the, uh, the Silver Cobs, too. And they look the most real. And you can buy them in bulk for a reasonable price. I freak oh, God. I don't know. I don't have the site anymore. Let me look it up real quick. Maybe I'll buy some more this month. I don't know. Add, add on to my treasure. Um, let's see. Google. Google. Give me Google. Uh, Tosha. Treasure for sale. Treasure, treasure company. That's, that's where I went. They, they sell a lot of stuff on eBay. Mm. Oh, burp coming.
Okay, so yeah. But then um, they not only make uh, pewter replicas, but they also make actual silver necklaces and stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I can switch to screen grab or not. But um, man, they make some really cool stuff, and I'm really, really happy with their products. I want to save that to shopping. All right. Uh, let's see what else? Free Tosha coin with all orders. Tosha booklet. Tosha blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, booklet with the one coin. I think I got that free with some something. I lost it all. <laughs> Typical me, I lose it all. Let's see. I'm trying to find the stuff I bought. Uh, collectible coins. That sounds so German. Whoa, that is. Whoa. Nice. Oh, those look great. Uh, where's the bulk? Where's the, where's the bulk? Ah, shit. I don't know. Um, I'm looking, uh, Yeah, I think, I don't know. Maybe they stopped selling them. Oh, God, I hope not. I'll look at that later. <laughs> so, yeah, I asked me down in Replica Coins. There's a, a couple, uh, it's like, well, uh, well, Atosha makes, you know, makes them in, or used to make them in batches or, you know, like, uh, like, uh, like 50 coins or 100 coins or something for a certain amount of money. And uh, they also had this, uh, like booklet where they're actually uh, um, get f five co uh, coins of the different uh, 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 oh god my brain does not want to work on this shit so I'm gonna skip it <laughs> but anyway it was really neat they had, they had uh, the bulk coins you can get that are just one size and then you can get the uh, booklet that has um, has them displayed in plastic in the um, and all the different sizes, not only in the uh, in the gold, but also in the silver cobs. So, in the, so it was really neat. I got one of those, and I was going to collect those every month, but they're like twenty bucks each just for those coins. And to really pile them up, it would be a real freaking. Ugh, it would be expensive, you know. So I decided to go the other road. So anyway, but they actually. The ones in the booklet actually look the most real. They look the, the most real, but uh, I think the, I don't know what they painted with them with, but I don't. I think they wore off. Uh, so that's probably why I threw them away. I could have repainted them, but I, was, I don't know. I just I don't know. I every few years I just got throw shit out and re Spartanize my room and shit. So yeah. So anyway, um, stolen Van Gogh paintings recovered in Italy. Yeah, good for you. I'm proud. Right, so. Anyway, uh, I'm stocking up on silver while I have the moonies. And I need a place to store it and stuff. And I don't know where. So I'm just kind of just leave it out in the open so I know it's there. I can easily look and see if Jason stole it or not. So, yeah. And these are heavy. I mean, they're not, they're a nice weight. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what the current price of silver is right now. Now I really want to know, so I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up right now. Silver by ounce. Silver by ounce. Okay, silver spot prices. Silver per ounce is 19 bucks. God damn. Silver by the kilo is 623. Fuck. 19. It went up from, I think, I bought, I bought the one with the eagle on it for 15 bucks, and then I bought this one for about 17 bucks, like a, I don't know, half a year later. And wow, $19. It's going up. So they're almost 20 bucks an ounce now. So you guys got to buy them up now because they're going to be 30 bucks in a year after that so wow wow they're slowly climbing wow okay so i'm gonna have to really 
uh, well, oh, shit, I can barely afford anything because I still got shelving and shit to do. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, man. I can't afford any kind of uh, splurges this month because all my money is already planned for, so. Let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So, <clears throat> well, I don't know what else I'll really tell you except, uh, not much. Sorry, it's kind of been a dull week. Uh, not much has happened. Just been stuck in game land and just relaxing and shooting the shit. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. There's no time on that. Uh, 16 minutes? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good enough. So... I don't know, I'm probably going to flake through the weekend, I don't know if I'm going to do anything next week, except the new camping tips for stupids for the Squatchers Islands podcast, uh, I'm going to do that, and uh, I do know some videos I want to make, uh, but uh, I don't know if I'll get up to getting around to them, it's, it's been rainy, it's been a really rainy freaking year or summer for us here, it's been raining every week, and so it's been hard to do anything outside. I still haven't old cloth my Rothko gear. I still keep forgetting to do the uh, Kirkman lantern stuff and try and do a video on them. And I don't know, some other crap. I don't know, cat videos or something. I don't know. So, uh, so you guys are just gonna have to be patient with me. I'm trying to figure my shit out. Yeah. Oh, God. My piss, my revolver. I keep forgetting about that damn thing. I could have done that today, but I just. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I'll have to mess with that. I'm working on the leaf spring on it, so I'm just gonna leave it out there in the open where I can see it. Remind me to do do a video on that. We gotta go through and uh, uh, continue to modify the spring on that wedge. So I'm gonna do that, and then maybe next Friday I'll remember to take it out and do some plinking with it at the rain, local range uh, over here by the river. Because uh, it's the only outdoor range I know of around here. So, you know, it'll cost me about 20 bucks, but I don't know of any other place to go out, you know, onto public land that we can shoot. Like, literally, it's hard to find any place out here. So, yeah. Um, maybe while I'm there, I'll take out the Mosin and uh, put some rounds down range on that. I don't know. I'm, yeah, I haven't gotten, I haven't done any shooting this year because I've been so preoccupi preoccupied with trying to go camping and collecting camping gear that I forgot all about shooting and firearms and America, America. You gotta say it like you're having a hernia. America. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so yeah, um, yeah, so I'm um, fuck with that. Oh, I polished up my. Uh, my uh, canteen, I was fucking with that later, earlier, and I was just giving a good shine job on the outside, just for the, just to clean it up, really, and, uh, yeah, that's neat, I gotta do another video on that, I love playing with that thing, it's fun, <laughs> I think, uh, for the next video, as soon, oh, ooh, 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 wait, what day is it, okay, so 30th of, De of September, so the burn ban might be lifting soon, Spokane Clean Air Agency. Still in effect, goddammit. Alright, alright. So. I can do wood heating if I needed to, but I can't do any outdoor door burning yet until they lift the burn ban. So as soon as that's up, I'm going outside and I'm playing with that fucker. Again. <laughs> so yeah. 
All right. All right. I'll leave it at that for this week. You guys have fun. Have a good weekend. Get sloshed. Go get laid. Uh, have fun. Uh, like and subscribe and show me your titties.